Hi guys, this is Shukesh once again. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. I want to do a quick 4G speed test in between the Reliance Geo and the two market leaders that is Airtel and Vodafone. Now the Geo SIM I have here is basically just two days old with the welcome offer because after the commercial launch on 5th of September, the so-called unlimited data access is no more valid. This welcome offer comes with validity till 31st December 2016 and there is basically a daily limit of 4 gig after which the speed will be cut down to 128 kbps. The smartphone I have on my left is running on Airtel 4G connection and the main reason I am shooting this video from my balcony is I have very poor Airtel connection indoor. In fact, sometimes the voice calling function doesn't work so to make this test fair I am outdoor. The smartphone on my right has Vodafone 4G SIM card installed and I am currently using this connection. I am quite happy with the speed and uptime but the Reliance Geo SIM has blown my mind with crazy 4G speed. The welcome offer and the preview offers are too good to be true so let's quickly run the speedtest.net app and check the actual speed I am getting on this Reliance Geo SIM compared to Airtel and Vodafone. As I just mentioned, it's 6 in the morning, the servers are least busy right now, so I will get the optimum score. I will also redo this test in the evening time. Let's now check what's the maximum speed these three networks offer here in Kolkata. Well guys, as you can see, I am getting as high as 46 Mbps speed on the Reliance Geo, which is totally crazy. The other two networks are not even close. The upload speed is also not bad, so overall the Reliance Geo connection beats the other two networks black and blue, though the Vodafone connection is actually offering really decent upload speed, but the download speed is nowhere near the Reliance Geo. There you go, the final result. You are getting 47 Mbps downloading and 6.92 Mbps uploading speed on your Reliance Geo SIM card. Airtel is offering 6 Mbps downloading and 2 Mbps uploading speed. Vodafone is slightly better 8.37 Mbps downloading and 2.24 Mbps uploading. I want to redo this test right now before I check the peak time speed in the evening. Well this time the score even improved on the Geo SIM card, it's 50.2 Mbps download and 7.26 Mbps upload which is again amazing. The Vodafone also improved to 12.32 Mbps downloading and 3.57 Mbps uploading speed. The Airtel connection speed is almost same as before. Well friends, it's 8pm right now and let's check what's the maximum speed these three networks offer. Well, as I mentioned before, the Airtel connection is very poor. I tried a number of times, but still, there is no improvement. The 4G speed on the Reliance Geo is now much lower, 12.8 Mbps downloading and 7.42 Mbps uploading, which is mediocre of course, but still not bad. The Vodafone connection is really great, 9.62 Mbps uploading and 8.82 Mbps downloading. So it's comparable to Geo Network and considering the preview or welcome offers, the 4G data pricing afterwards which is Rs 50 for 1 gig which can go down to as low as 25 rupees for heavy users, I think Reliance is up to something revolutionary. I really hope that they maintain this same speed and uptime throughout the year anywhere in India. Well that's all in this review guys, thanks a lot for watching, this is Shukesh and have a nice day.